Hey guys, welcome to my live video on Facebook. Salam alaikum. How is everybody doing? Long time no see. I hardly come on live here, so I'm hoping that you guys will join me live. Let me see who's here. I'll wait for you guys to come on live on my Toronto page. It's always exciting. Hey, salam alaikum. How is everybody? Thank you so much for joining me live on integration, but it's not integration, it's my own personal page. <clears throat> Fusia, Faisa, welcome. Thank you. Muhad, thank you so much. Welcome, guys. I love this page because people could actually join me live to chat. But I wanted to update you guys. It's been a, obviously a very tough uh, week for all of us uh, Somalis around the world. Um, it was actually very hard for me to do a lot of live things and even just focus on what's um, what's happened back home because so many, so many tragedies, so many stories and for me, myself being in the front line of hearing all the stories first, it's really heartbreaking. And I hope that some of you guys are just taking time to um, really heal and not just brush this under the rug. Like, you know, another tragedy, we got to move on. We have to have resilience. We got to, you know, we need to really process these things as they happen. And subhanAllah. So I hope you guys are assalamu alaikum. Thank you so much, Dr. Muhammad. Welcome, Ahmed. Thank you for joining live. Nadia, how are you? Thank you so much, sister. Welcome. So I wanted to update you guys. We started um, a lounge good page with a local charity in Mogadishu, and we have a local, um, I would call correspondent, Ahmed uh, Sawaj, who is an amazing, inspiring young man from Mogadishu. And he's been actually helping us locate um, some of the victims through um, stories. And what we've been doing is that as we get stories of people in need in Mokdusho, we are distributing uh, donations to them to bring some joy, to elevate some of their pain, and to take away some of the stuff of tragedy that's happened, subhanAllah. Like if you guys have watched the video that we did with the two parents who lost their daughter, and the storytelling that they did, it was so powerful, just to, to put a face to the tragedies, just to allow someone like the parents of uh, Farhia to heal, to be able to share their story. And I'll tell you guys from that story, Dr. Um, but his parents, uh, who are in Mogadishu, uh, when we contacted to do the story on them, they said they didn't want a donation. They wanted to share the legacy of their daughter. And to me, that was so powerful. I mean, we never get to hear those Somali stories where people tell who the people who died are. You know, and I'm hoping that with Integration TV, we can continue sharing those stories. There's more powerful stories coming. And I hope you guys will, for once, think about where your money goes and who you donate. Because of my travels or going back home, understanding how things work and how we can support people to not just feed them for a day, but to give them tools to empower them to take care of themselves. Now we're able to do more groundwork with Integration TV and our charity partners in Somalia. So I hope that you guys will support and donate. We're already close to 35,000. Um, I think we're at 32,000 of goal. So please go on loungegood.com slash backslash Mogadishu and you can donate $5, $10, $30, whatever you can. And we'll be... It's amazing the stories that we have coming. I mean, just stories that are undiscovered of people who have resilience and hope to start another day their lives. People who've lost everything, who have to rebuild every day in our country that we never get to hear their stories, which is so unfair. I don't want to hear about the people who have lost hope. I want to hear about the people who say, Today is another day and I'm going to get up and I'm going to start again. And that's what we're going to be sharing. Those resilient stories like the parents of Farhia, who was a master student from Simid University, who her parents said, you know, we've lost a wonderful daughter, but we're still going to move on and do great things for our community. And that's what it's about. Okay. So I hope you guys get to get to watch all you Somalis around the world. Please support. It doesn't take much to do 
five dollars you spend that on a coffee every day at tim hortons or some would say starbucks <laughs> but you know think about think about that five dollars a day where you're spending and i'm not saying don't donor fatigue is real like honestly i just realized like, we just passed the tragedy of the famine and now we, we have this tragedy so many tragedies are happening in our community and people may get tired of donating but believe me you never get poor from giving so i hope that you guys will donate and support us help us reach $35,000 the goal so that we can continue our work in Mogadishu and working with Ahmed uh, Sawaj and Dr. Sadia Siad who's doing great work on the ground in Mogadishu and this is what it's about actually working with people who are doing the work you know some of you are donating to people that you don't even know where the work and the money is going and a lot of the money is not reaching the people who need it and I hope that you guys think about that when you make donations okay you guys cannot hear my voice? That's weird. Can you guys hear me now? People are saying they can hear me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. So I hope you guys, if somebody write it down for me right now, uh, loungegood.com backslash show. Go on there, $5, $10. Do what you can, support. And inshallah, we will be doing more, more, more. And I'm very excited that, like I said, we're able to capture the stories and not just share it with our community, but people around the world. That one video that we posted has already over 200,000 views on Facebook. SubhanAllah. So that means people are interested. People want to know who are the victims that who deserve to be honored. You know, we're not just people who are dying every day, losing our lives like we don't matter as Somali people. Somali lives matter in Somalia. And people need to know the stories of these young people who had hopes, dreams, goals, ambitions. And just to tell you, we have an amazing story coming of a woman. I'll tell you guys quickly before I go. There is a woman in Mogadishu who literally went to a computer store to get her computer fixed. SubhanAllah. Imagine how powerful life is. You don't know when your time is coming and you don't know when your time is not coming, okay? She went to a computer store to drop off her computer, asked the two gentlemen that were working there, can you guys fix my computer? And they said, it's going to take an hour to fix. She said, maybe a Somali didn't have a internet. Okay. If you want to get a computer, you can get a computer. I'm going to get a computer. I'm going to get a computer. I'm going to get a computer. We let she we have created my may I buy a sketch and I got and I got cool in a computer called could the man and I no 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 we had to one so love an air within 10 minutes work a body got a heba die and so click took that you didn't her computer the people in that store everybody's gone subhanallah and she survived so when your time is coming, your time is coming. All these people who say, you know, don't go to Somalia, don't go do this, don't do that. You don't know when you're going to die. So all I'm saying to you guys is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who decides those things. And I hope that all of you guys will support us so we can bring those stories of hope and resilience. You know, imagine how she feels today. That woman that within 10 minutes of leaving that area survived. And the pain she feels that the guys who were helping her didn't. And hundreds of people around them did not. So I hope that you guys can watch, you know, inshallah, and support. And go to our YouTube channel, subscribe to Integration TV. We are now being broadcast across Somalia and the Horn of Africa. And now on satellite to Somalis around the world. We are the first English television program to be doing this work, which is mobilizing people for good and helping people to receive good in this world. And I hope you guys be part of that change. And inshallah, let's do it, guys. Let's keep going. This is what it's about, empowering people in times of crisis and also learning how do we manage crisis in our country and around the world with Somali communities, okay? Love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me live. It looks like there's so many people who want to join my broadcast. I don't know how to do it, <laughs> but I'll practice on that next time. But like I said, we're almost at goal, 35000 we're at $32,010. How many of you are on this chat right now? Thousands watching my live feed. You can donate something to help us bring these stories, to help us get the money direct. You saw the father who's handicapped, who has, I think he had eight children. 
his only two abled kids who were supporting him, taking care of him and his family, died in that blast. But guess what? When we went to visit him and because of your generous donations and from Muslims around the world, he was able to receive um, not only a donation from us, but because we gave out his phone number, his phone will not stop ringing now. You know, subhanAllah, the amount of donations he's gotten to get back on his feet, to support his children, to help his kids. You know, to you know, in Somalia, sometimes your biggest contributors to your family are your children because you're not able to do a lot of things and they are the ones who support their families. I mean, I've met eight-year-olds that are working on the streets uh, polishing shoes to support their moms and their, and their brothers and sisters. So these are the people that we're impacting. I hope that you guys think about that. This father has eight children. He lost two of them that were not disabled. Only two of his children are not disabled and they died in the blast and the rest are still here. And Alhamdulillah, you know, he's so grateful to all of you guys. He's so grateful to all you guys who donated, who called his number. I've gotten a lot of text messages of people who actually called him directly. So do it guys. You know, we're not only going to be donating to the victims, we're going to give you direct access to them if you want and you find it in your heart to give them more. Because, you know, to be honest with you, how beautiful is it when aid goes direct to the person? How beautiful is it when the person gets direct aid? You know, so I hope you guys enjoy. Anyways, take care. We'll talk soon. Don't forget, follow us on Integration TV. Over 135,000 of you are following. And inshallah, the numbers will keep going up because more people are interested in this content to see Somalis telling their narratives around the world. Take care, share, donate, loungegood.com backslash Mardusho. Help us reach our goal except today so we can get more videos out this week, inshallah. Oh, yes, Abraham, you need the number of the uh, father. Yes, Umar. Yes, brother Umar's number. Inshallah, if you go to Integration TV Facebook page, his number is listed on the chat of his live video that we did. And how cool is it, guys? We can do live videos directly from the homes of the victims, which is amazing because they get to chat live with other Somalis around the world, just to sometimes get dua from other people to see the Qibqib Sanayan, you know? This is amazing energy that we're giving to each other to support each other in this time of tragedy. So I hope you guys can check it out. Go on Integration TV, his numbers are on there. Um, we also have the the families, uh, I think the, the, the father and mother also gave out their numbers. So this is this is you guys' opportunity. I love you guys and thank you so much and for all your support for helping us build Integration TV to become the brand that it is today, which is a voice for Somalis around the world to come together and to progress and to share their narratives. And I hope you guys enjoy. So please go on Integration TV, take care, and we'll update you guys as we bring more stories live from Mardusho. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.